Senator Tim Kaine and Mississippi Senator Roger Wicker introduced some bipartisan legislation to designate today, September 30th, as National Veteran Suicide Prevention Day. In a joint statement, the senator said that overall, military suicides have increased approximately 20% compared to this time last year. I spoke with members of the suicide prevention team at the Hampton VA about the challenges that COVID has presented. Every day, approximately 20 American veterans die by suicide. At the Hampton VA Medical Center, these women, part of the suicide prevention team, stand ready to help. The number of, of calls to the veterans crisis line have gone up. The pandemic is presenting challenges. Part of what we tell people to do is engage, go out into the community, go to the beaches, um, go to your favorite coffee shop, you know, really just kind of get out of your out of your house. Community, they say, is the key because a majority of veterans that die by suicide aren't even connected to the VA. We want to get our veterans where they live, where they work, and meet them where they are. Whether that's at the grocery store or gun shop, they say they are reaching out to all corners of the community, offering SAVE, suicide prevention training. Just having the churches and the different organizations be open to us actually coming out and doing that training and teaching them about the warning signs and the protective, protective factors is also another way that the community can be there. Senator Tim Kaine this week introduced legislation to open the public's eyes to this need. This is not just a, a matter of policy. It's also a larger matter of culture uh, to show respect and to basically wrap our arms around uh, veterans and military members. Counselors urge all of us to check in with veterans, especially in times of transition, such as from military to civilian life, and for vets to remember. It's okay um, to not be okay and to get help. The suicide prevention team also told me about a few apps that can help veterans with coping skills and that can store individual safety plans that these counselors will help you develop. I put a link to their helpline information with this story on wavy.com. Up next, 